Hey, Lou Agave from Long Island Lou Tequila. I'm here with Ace Agave. Hey, Greg, how are you tonight? We're going to do a comparison of the original Blanco from Champre at 1438 with their newest incarnation, which is at 1414. The one they did in the middle was at 1137. That was the 110 high proof. We're not going to do that because it's not comparable to the 80 right. proofs that we're doing tonight, right, bro? And we, and we did a 1414 high proof sample that um, Alex gave us, and we raved about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. We tasted the 110 that this uh, 40 uh, ABV is uh, tailored That's off That's their base, yeah. Oh, so my I happen to God. Have, I happen to have the 1438 here, Lou. Yeah. And then show them the presentation. So Alex sent us this beautiful uh, presentation. Siempre, you know, with glasses and nice... Uh, wood box. Wood box and all kinds of uh, booklets pad, and tasting things. And, you know, they're pretty cool when it comes to that kind of... Silvering in it. You can see a little shininess. This one is not as shiny. You know, Lou, you can see the difference on the two. Yeah, you uh, can. Two. Yeah, so you can. I'm going to open up for the, the original. Not one of my favorite distilleries whatsoever, but I thought it was decent. And I always told Alex it was pretty good Blanco. You know, it was great for mixing. It was okay for sipping, you know. Then they went to 1137. They did a 110 proof, which was actually pretty good. And I'm not crazy about NOM 1137, you know, luck over there. But now, thank God. They went to the Holy Grail. They went to Vivanco. They went to the one of the top five. Or They're at top ones. They're at, you know, 14, 14. So we're going to taste 14, 14 tonight. Yeah, I'm just trying to get that. Compared to their original uh, 1438, which is their Blanco, 40 ABV. And we're going to tell you the difference. So here we are. Gregory's uh, unleashing the uh, 14, 14, 14. We're kind of nice, Lou. This is 100% uh, cork finished. Yeah. Cork on the top, so it's a little bit different. Yeah. Um, and listen, we love Ivanko, so... I know, you know, you had, I know you had Chris here at your house once, right? I had Chris at my house. We love Chris. And I met I met um, Alex and Chris at the Brooklyn uh, yeah. Bar Convention. I want to tell you, guys are just down to earth, really good people, um, no pretenses, and I really enjoyed spending the, the evening with them. We actually went over to Widow Jane after the, the Brooklyn Convent, and we drank... They brought their Vivo, which we love Vivo. Oh, I love yeah. Vivo. We First love expression it. out of fourteen, fourteen, right? With Adam Foda. Yeah, and I've been friends with uh, Alex uh, yeah. Lacroix for many years, mm -hmm. and we've been talking, you know, and I've been trying to praying that he gets his butt over to fourteen, fourteen eventually, and he did. So listen, that's a big advantage over fourteen thirty eight and eleven thirty seven. Trust me, that's a big advantage. Wow, Lou, there's, there's a so big, what do we got here? What do we got on the right? 14, 14 on your right. I shouldn't even tell you because you can just tell by the nose. And um, yeah, 14, 38 on the left. I right. Mean, two I, didn't, I didn't have a real problem with the 14, 38. I thought it was uh, drinkable. Mm -hmm. I was 80-ish, 81, 2-ish. Uh, it was good. It was okay for sipping. But this is that? Yeah, big difference. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. 14, 14. This is you Cote can't Gave, This is... Yeah. Additives. I'm sorry, Alex. It's, it's something. Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's well, a, there's a third person, Monica. I, I, you know, there's yeah, and a, he has a bunch of other partners. Yeah. What a great team. And yeah. What what good good hearted people want to do the right thing. Want to make a great tequila. Yep. They're from Canada, so the you're, you're, yeah, Ontario you're, guys. Yeah. Yeah. So and Chris's uh, in laws, or uh, I think it is, live right here yeah, in my right town. My yeah, right yeah. In my town. You know, it was great to have him here. Um. Yeah, listen, 1438 makes too many products. They all taste too similar. They likely use additives. Same thing I feel with 1137. But when he went to 1414, he finally got there. I was very excited. That's an additive-free haven. You know? So when, when you, we talk about different NOM numbers, Lou, there's, there's what they call contract distilleries. So there's, only, there's probably 150 to 180 distilleries out there. That make twenty five hundred to three thousand yep, products. Yep, yep. There's only about a dozen, maybe less, distilleries that make one brand. Oh, that's it. Yeah. So, but when you get quality, um, what I like to say, contract distilleries like fourteen fourteen or eleven twenty three, they take on the the best and they make really really good juice. You know, there's some that just kind of like we've got stuff in tank. You got a bottle. We're gonna we're gonna put it out for you. And and the owners don't have a lot of input. But when you get a master distiller like Sergio, you know, where I'm sure he's giving you a lot of input, and he's trying to make your product special, and I think that's where they're at at 1414. Yeah. I mean, he's got a couple of weapons uh, at hand. You know, he could uh, he could cultivate differently. He could cook differently. He could ferment slightly differently. 
he could do a lot of things. He could different uh, distill strand. differently. He can cut the heads and tails differently. Right. He can use different yeast. You're right. right. Differently. They There's do so Mozart. many things they, do they can Mozart do. They Mozart there. We, yeah. they, you know, they play the music. I think they do the champagne yeast there, but they could have different strands. Right. So the distilleries that me and Aids Agave respect have options. They have ways of making things taste differently without additives. They can do those things I just mentioned yeah. differently. But then you got brands that want to do it the easy way. Just dump in the additives. And that's not cool. 1414 doesn't do that. You know, 1123 doesn't do that. I can't say that about the other two that he was at earlier. But he's in a better place these now. Are, these are two of our top ten distilleries. 1123 <laughs> or 1414. Definitely. Why don't, we, why don't we try 1438? So which one's on the left, bro? 1438. 1438 original, is on the left. Which the I didn't give it a bad rating. I gave it an 82, mm -hmm. I think it was. Yeah. I, it was really okay. And it is okay. Nose is fine, a little earthy and uh, vegetal for sure. I think it's got it's got good tequila on what I like to say, agave heat. The nose to me is not. It's not, not great. Not what I like, but um. Not sweet enough and stuff thought, like that. You know, but I, I've used it. It's okay. I've used this tequila to make some great cocktails. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, yeah, so, um, yeah. But then when you take the nose on, yeah, on the fourteen fourteen, it's totally. There's different. definitely totally different. Yeah. An unbiased review, Lou. We don't we don't get anything from fourteen fourteen. We don't get anything from Siempre. You know they were nice enough to send us a bottle. Everybody knows when they send Lou or me a bottle, <laughs> we're going to be pretty honest with you, whether you like we like it or not. You you've seen our past reviews. We're going to say, listen, send us a bottle. I'm going to no BS. If we don't like it, we're going to tell you. You run the risk of that. A lot of guys pull back, Lou. They don't send you, right? Am I wrong enough? Yeah, I have a disclaimer that I put out when someone contacts me. I used to get about four or five a week. You know, we want to send you a bottle. I say, well, here's my deal. I'm going to say what I'm going to say. I don't care what you have to say about it. You're going to see the video when everyone else does. And I'm not going to take your input. When it's a brand that, you know, knows that they might be suspect or I might not like, they don't send it. Otherwise, they, go, they, they go, send they it. They go radio silent. <laughs> yeah. You know? I don't hear from them again, yeah. which is fine with me. I got enough bottles on the damn show. Yeah, but not, I don't have room gonna, anymore. We're not going to name what those brands are, but yeah. we're just trying to say, like, you know what? If you're sending Lou a brand or a bottle or you're sending me a bottle, chances are they they know already that the tequila is going to be somewhat acceptable. <laughs> we don't make any money doing oh, this. No. Guys, I lose money. And I'm going to be honest with you. I do lose money. I, I don't make any money from any brand or any company in any way. I'm totally independent. But I'm not an influencer. I'm not. I'm a tequila educator. I'm a tequila independent reviewer. I'm a tequila uh, advisor. You know, when you ask me about what brand should I buy, that's what I am. I'm not an influencer. I don't make any money. An influencer to me means you got something involved. You're making money yeah. somehow, not me. You know, Alex, we love you guys. I know you've been trying to uh, and really 14, do stuff differently. And, and what do you think of this, bro? Sergio, I, mean, I think you guys killed it. Sergio Cruz is uh, MDing on this. Alex is running the show. It's uh, they they say that they what they did differently here was they did a long cut in the distillation, mm -hmm. so the flavors are more robust and there's less undesirable notes in the tails. So they did something a little different with the cuts, guys. You got to learn about distillation cuts it's a big thing it Heads really is big thing and heart. right and you know what they're brick oven cooked they're roller macerated they're open air with rum and champagne yeast with this without fibers double still no copper you want copper guys deep well water this is our champagne at 1414 now is really kicking ass i gotta uh, tell you i'm telling you i think these guys these guys have one they just moved into a whole nother level as a top rank they're up there you know i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna be honest with the um besides vivo you know, their first 1438. Their first um, offering was in probably in the low 80s in my in my score. It was okay. And I'm I'm anything above an 85 plus, and this is definitely a couple points over. Yeah. There. I think Alex, Chris, Monica, yeah. you did a great job. Yeah. Um, and Sergio and Mr. Vivanco, who we love. I love know? Sergio. He yeah. uh, carried me to the van when I went to visit him. <laughs> you didn't oh see the video, God. Sergio. I love you, baby. Sergio. Thank you. Listen, Sergio. you know, their first distillery was 1438. It was okay. Uh, 1137, they did have a pretty good kick-ass uh, high proof there. They did. They did. I admit it. Now they're at 1414. I like it. I really, they definitely improved themselves. They, they really good. It's about $50 a bottle. That's a really good price. By the way, they have a really good pricing on this. Oh, yeah, without doubt. And yeah. They, and then, you know what, honestly, Lou, 
we're not we're not going to be bored. We're not going to be influenced. Never. But when you send us a sample, we're going to be honest with you. And, and here, this is they actually sent me a sample. It is a long time ago. Great gentleman, and I thought everything was great, but didn't score really high. Yeah, right. We're honest. They, you know, you can send us stuff, us. but I'm sorry. Yeah, we're going to tell the truth. You're not going to lose and ruin Monica, our reputation. Guys are kicking butt. Yeah. And I and I and I know you sent this out to a bunch of a lot of people I got say, this social up, media 14, people. Yeah. But you know what? Greatly appreciated by everybody. Great way to get your name. Great way to get your brand out there. And great way to tell everybody where the expression's going. And this expression, the fourteen fourteen, is is right up there. Heads now. and tails above. It was smart that you did that. I'm glad you sent it to me. Thank you. Thank now, me and Gregory did a review recently. You guys better go on my uh, YouTube channel, Long Island Loot to Kill, and you better check out the uh, 110. Was it the 110? High proof. Yeah, it's we right. did the high proof recently of Siempre, was which in... was what created this. Yeah, this Amazing. is their base. So I was at the Brooklyn Convent, and they, they just happened to have a sample. I didn't know they were going to be there. They ran into me and go, we have a sample. We want you to try this. I brought it over to Lou. We tasted it. Oh, we, man. We, we thought it was great. And, I, and I'm telling you, I'm, I'm enjoying the 40. We we said during the review of the 110 that it was so kick-ass that there was no way the 40 couldn't be. This is really, really good. So. Alex, great job. You guys, this is uh, the Siempre at 1414 is now the bomb. I don't know. What would you give it? I, Jesus uh, Christ. I'm at, I'm at 87, 88 maybe on this Blanco. 86 to 88. So I'm going to go 87 just off the cuff. Which... I'm going to go 89. I'm going to go 89. I really I enjoy this Blanco. I always score I don't give points away like he does. No, because to the price. <laughs> you got to understand, the price is only like price. 50 bucks. This is a really slamming deal. Lou. I'm going to give it that, Mark. So listen, uh, you know, I'm giving it a good rating. I For the price, it's phenomenal. Alex, Chris, Monica, we love what you're doing right now. Don't don't deviate. Nope. I think you guys have got a home run here. You're in the right uh, place. You know, the problem is you're not going to be able to produce enough of this. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly you know. it. The 110 coming out, Lou. They've probably got some age expressions. Listen, we've had this discussion before. When somebody comes out with a Blanco, Rapo, and Yeho, and Extra Añejo. You don't like that. Yeah. They're taking their time. I'm waiting for the Reposado. I'm going to wait for the Añejo. They're doing it the right way. Yeah, I think we're going to be a year or so out to see these expressions. But... That's what you want. You don't want someone showing up at a new distillery and having all the expressions already done. That means they use the stock juice. But if you don't make a great Blanco, Lou. You, you don't make a great repo or you know, you got to cover it with additive. So Absolutely. You know, we know this is going to be additive free. Right. So, Alex, thanks for the stuff. Thank you. You're doing the right thing. We love it. Siempre, nom, 1414, salud.